The Three Cabritos by Eric A. Kimmel. Once upon a time, the three cabritos lived with their mother on a ranch near the Rio Grande. The three cabritos loved to play music. They had their own band. Ronaldo, the smallest and youngest, played the fiddle. Orlando, the middle one, played the guitar. And Augustine, the oldest and biggest, played the accordion. One day, the three cabritos heard there was going to be a fiesta just across the border in Mexico. Let's go, the three cabritos said. There will be singing and dancing and plenty to eat. We'll take our instruments and play all night. We always have a good time when we go to Mexico. Don't go, their mother pleaded. To get there, you have to cross the bridge over the Rio Grande, and you know who lives under that bridge? The Chupacabra, the goat sucker. What if he catches you? You will look like dead cactus when he is done. Ah, don't worry, mamá, said the three cabritos. We're not afraid of the chupacabra. Well, I am, said their mother. Be careful and have a good time at the fiesta, but I won't rest until you come home. The three cabritos set out for Mexico. Ronaldo walked the fastest. He arrived at the bridge first. As he crossed the bridge, something jumped out from underneath the bridge. Chupacabra! Oh, buenos dias, cabrito, the chupacabra said. Say your prayers, cause I'm gonna eat you. Don't eat me, Ronaldo pleaded. I'm so small and thin. My older brother Orlando will be coming along soon. He's much bigger. He'll make a better meal. Let me go, Senor Chupacabra, please. Well, maybe I will and maybe I won't, the Chupacabra said. What's that you're carrying under your arm? My fiddle. Play something for me. And if I like it, I'll let you go and I'll eat your brother instead. Ay, gracias, Senor Chupacabra, said Ronaldo. He tuned his fiddle and began to play, and the Chupacabra danced back and forth across the bridge until he grew tired. That's enough. You can go. Ronaldo took his fiddle and ran across the bridge as fast as he could, and he didn't stop until he was well into Mexico. Orlando came along next, and as he was crossing the bridge, the chupacabra leapt out into front of him. Buenos dias, cabrito. Say your prayers. I'm going to eat you. Don't do that, senor chupacabra, Orlando begged. I'm so skinny and weak. My older brother, Augustine, is coming along soon. He is big and strong, and he'll make a much better meal. Please let me go. Maybe I will and maybe I won't, the chupacabra said. What's that on your back? Oh, my guitar. Play something for me, the chupacabra said. And if I like it, I'll let you go. I'll eat your brother instead. Ah, oh, gracias, senor chupacabra. Orlando tuned his guitar and he began to play. The chupacabra hopped and twirled across the bridge until he grew tired. That's enough. You can go, he told Orlando. Orlando grabbed his guitar and ran across the bridge as fast as he could, and he didn't stop until he was miles into Mexico. Augustine, the last of the three cabritos, arrived at the bridge. The chupacabra jumped before him. Buenos dias, cabrito, chupacabra said. Say your prayers. I'm going to eat you. Maybe you will and maybe you won't, said Augustine. I'm a lot bigger and stronger than my brothers. You're not bigger or stronger than me, Chupacabra sneered. Oh, you're right, Augustine said. You're going to eat me no matter what I do. May I ask a favor? Let me play my accordion one last time.
last time, and then I'll lie down on the bridge, and you can gobble me up. Go ahead, cabrito, said the chupacabra. Play your accordion, and when you're done, I'll eat you. Augustine began to play. The chupacabra danced and leapt and hopped and twirled and pranced and twisted from one end of the bridge to the other. And at last he cried, You can stop playing now, cabrito. I'm getting tired. Oh, I'm not tired at all, said Augustine. I forgot to tell you, I have a magic accordion. And when I play it, everyone has to keep dancing until I stop. Enough, Cabrito. I can't dance anymore. Not yet. I don't want to stop. I'm having a good time. Augustine began playing faster and faster, and the chupacabra whirled around and around, and his face turned red, and his eyes bulged, and smoke came out of his ears. No more, Cabrito. I beg you. It will be the end of me if you don't stop. Is that so, said Augustine. Then I'll keep playing. And he did, faster than ever before. The chupacabra gasped and groaned. And with a sudden shriek, he fell down on the bridge. The chupacabra shriveled like a punctured balloon. He grew smaller and smaller until only his husk remained, as dry and brittle as a dead cactus. And Augustine crushed it beneath his hooves as he crossed over into Mexico. The three cabritos played all night at the fiesta, and when they went home in the morning, they crossed the bridge together. No one had to worry about the chupacabra anymore, so they say. But as for me, whenever I cross that bridge into Mexico, I make sure to carry my harmonica in my pocket, just in case.